So parents are all too familiar with the tooth fairy and watching their child's face light up when they discover that there's a dollar that has been exchanged for their tooth or more. It depends on the family, but you know, my kids is 10 cents. So, but losing baby teeth is a big deal. So tell me, Dr. Bobby, what age do children start to lose their baby teeth? Usually it's around about between five and six years old. Okay, five and a half is the average age at which a child will lose their first tooth and it's almost always their lower front okay. in size of tooth at five and a half. But of course, averages being averages, it can be six months either side. So um, what age should children have a full set of teeth then? Sure. So Adult teeth, that is. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, children lose their, start losing teeth at five and a half. And from, from about five and a half until about seven and a half, eight years old, they'll lose quite a few of their front teeth. And then there's a real quiescent phase where nothing seems to happen. And that's where parents seem to get worried that teeth aren't dropping out anymore because they know there's baby teeth in there, uh, but they don't seem to be dropping out. But after about the age of, say, 10, maybe 11 years old, we then go through a second phase of losing the, the baby molar teeth. Yep. Uh, and that goes on for uh, a year or two and by about the age of 12 maybe 13 years old all the baby teeth should have dropped out by around about that age but of course averages being averages <laughs> well you cover your bases all the time averages being averages so what can be done if, if the baby teeth aren't falling out on their own sure well the first thing you should do is seek professional help if you're genuinely concerned that the adult the adult teeth aren't coming through when they're meant to come through or the baby teeth aren't getting loose when they're meant to be getting loose and all the other kids are having those teeth falling out except your kid now you should get professional Professional, get professional advice and find out if there's a reason why that's the case. Because what sort of reasons are there then? Often there, there may not actually be an adult tooth underneath the baby tooth. Mm. Other reasons may be that the adult teeth are going off in funny directions so they're not pushing the baby teeth out. There may be other disorders, you know, of um, tooth eruption, so there may actually be like a fundamental problem that's preventing the, the baby teeth from dropping out. Wow. Um, so there's a number of reasons, and it really has to be investigated by people who know what they're talking about. I bet. Because I remember when I was little, I had to get my tooth, front teeth pulled out because I'd yeah. smashed my teeth on the bath, oh, and they like, were dead and they never fell out. Yeah, so. You sound like you were trouble when you were a kid. I was an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Always an angel, still am. So if you have any concerns whatsoever about your child's baby teeth or their adult teeth, give Dr. Bobby and the team at Sunbird Orthodontics a call today to find out how they can help you.